لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له لا الملك لا الحمد على كل شيء قدير بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله Whoever says La ilaha illallah Dakhal al-Jannah The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said Whoever says La ilaha illallah Will enter paradise And La ilaha illallah This is the key to paradise Miftah al-Jannah It is the key to paradise And if we understand the meaning of La ilaha illallah, that will be our success. Understanding the meaning, practicing it, implementing it in our lives. And just on the basic, way of knowing the meaning, or in the most basic sense is, is knowing the meaning that there is no God worthy of worship except the law that that entails both an affirmation and a negation it's an affirmation or a negation first la ilaha there is no god and if we were to stop there that would negate that there's anything that there's anything worshiped that would negate that there is anything worshiped but however we know that people throughout time have worshipped many deities from animals to the sun to the moon to the stars as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran about his signs because many of the people all of those things uh, that I mentioned are created things and they're from the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they are not to be worshipped but they are signs that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be worshipped and that he, Tabarak wa ta'ala, exists. That there's a creator of all of this beauty that we see and we witness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ يَلَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرِ لَا تَسْجِدُوا لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمَرِ وَاشْجِدُوا لِلَّهِ عَلَى ذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and from his signs is the day in the night, and the sun and the moon. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so he affirms his ayat there. And then he negates that and, and prohibits that we should worship his signs, those ayat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms that we should worship him and him alone, the creator of those signs. Washjidu lillahi. Worship Allah. Allah commands you. Aladi khalakahunna, the one who created them. In kuntum, in kuntu iyahu taabudun. If it is Him you truly worship, so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is negating false worship. And. Affirming and commanding that we should worship Him and Him alone. So, getting back to the Miftah al Jannah, the Kalimat to Tawheed, the word of Tawheed, the key to paradise, La ilaha illallah, which is the first part of the Shahada, that we said there's a nafi and a ithbat, there's a negation, there's a negation of all false deities, La ilaha illallah. Uh, 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 la ilaha La ilaha There is no God If we were to stop there But instead of course we know La ilaha And then there's the What's known in, in Arabic uh, 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 Harf al-istithna Adat al-istithna It is a, 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 a Maybe a prepositional phrase A preposition That denotes that there is an exception Illa there is no God worthy of worship. Illa. Illa men. Illa Allah. Except Allah. 
So that shows us that there's an exception that everything in this creation, all of this world, there, there's so much beauty and majesty and people take these things as gods, which is all false worship. The only valid, authentic, legitimate worship is worship in the one who created these things. And that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلَ وَالنَّهَارَ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمْرِ لَا تَشْرُ لِشَمْسِ Negating, uh, making prostration to shems, to the sun. وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ And, and to, the, to the moon. وَاسْجِدُوا لِلَّهِ Prostrate to Allah. الَّذِي خَلَقُهُنَّ The one who created it. إِنْ كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who actualize Tawheed. May Allah bless us with ikhlas with that. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala forgive us of our many, many, many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.